Hey what's going on guys, this is Alan Frost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another video, and this time it's going to be our mod showcase, and the mod I'm going over today is the Mag Tekkit armor, I believe that's how you say it, so, what a Mag Tekkit armor it is, or the mod for that, it's like, kind of like a mega robot, it's like a big robot, robot armor suit, that you can have craft and survive and stuff, and just go around and destroy everything, it's a completely awesome mod, and I would definitely use it in my let's play, but, it's a pretty awesome mod. So as you see, this is pretty much what it looks like, and let's go ahead and get into the crafting recipes. So pretty much you're gonna need quite a bit of stuff. You're gonna need a mag kaiset or mag this mag maxis it. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> mag size oh mag attack stack, and then arm, leg, and torso, and then the actual suits that you can make. So I don't know how to say this mag mag I don't know okay so pretty much how you craft this is there's two different ways you can use a pumpkin in the middle surrounded by four emeralds or a soul sand in the middle surrounded by four nether quartz there's two ways so it's pretty much hard to get this because you have to find emeralds down below and or go to the nether so you have to have diamonds either way well not either way because you can find emeralds with iron but still you know what I mean and the next thing you can craft is, it's a little bit easier, you need six pieces of iron ingots and a furnace in the middle of it, so it kind of looks like a, I don't even know what it looks like, but you get to mega tech stack. And the next thing is the arm, leg, and torso, which is pretty easy to craft. For the arm, you just need two iron ingots with two gold ingots for like an upside down L-ish type thing, and you need two of these for the actual suit. Same with the leg, you need two of them. So for the leg, you need three iron ingots and two gold ingots, kind of like, like an angle shape away in the crafting bench and you get you need two legs again and for the torso it's a little bit harder you need two iron ingots a minecart with a furnace two gold ingots a redstone repeater a block of redstone with two diamonds so it's a little bit harder because you do need diamonds and you need nine red a little bit of redstone and to make the minecart the furnace in case you did not know you just need a furnace with a minecart and yeah so it's not too expensive but it's still pretty expensive because you do need diamonds so but the other thing, you needed diamonds too to get to the nether, so it's not too bad. And to make the actual armor, you need two arms, two stacks, one max it, one torso, and two legs. And there's two different ways to craft it. You still use the same stuff, but you can just craft it in a different order. So you can craft it either this way or this way, and you'll get the mag tech armor, which is pretty much what the whole mod is usually about. Or you can make the proto armor, which is just a downgraded version of the mag tech armor. And to craft this, it's cheaper. Two iron bars, one torso, one arm, um, one max it, and two legs. And yeah, that's pretty much how you craft it. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's not as cool looking as this. So if we go ahead and take these and show you what they look like. And I'm sorry, guys, if I lag. I mean, I usually don't lag, but for some reason I am lagging now. I mean, I don't. I usually never lag, but I'm sorry if it lags. So that's how that looks like. And the proto armor looks like this. So if we can get in the front view of it, okay, right here. As you see, it looks pretty cool. It has two claws coming out, like a little heart symbol in the middle, or plus, not heart, my bad. And it looks really awesome. And the other one is, doesn't even have arms, as it looks like. It's like more downgraded version. They pretty much both work the same way, though. The pretty much to get to work is, you see the little square box in the back of it? You gotta shift, right click, open this up, and you wanna put some coal in there. So I'm just gonna take half my coal, put it in here. As you see, it will, this will light up, and that means it's powering and it's working. You can also use this to store items in there. So if I wanted to put this in there, I could keep this in there. And yeah, it's like kind of like a nine, in front, like a chest, but it's only like nine inventory slots. So it's the same with this one. You shift, right click, and put it in there, and it will power. It actually lasts a very long time, so it's good. That's how you get to work. So then you right click to get into the thing, and as you see, it, it just looks amazing. See, if I F5 this right here, it's... I mean, look at that. I mean, that that's epic. So let's go ahead and get back in. And the walk, you just push W or hold W to just keep walking. And you see, it looks really cool. It looks like you're stepping. So it has that like little feel to Minecraft, like with real life phys physics to it too, because you're actually stepping over the place. If I F5, I can show you. He's actually stepping. So I mean, look at that. It looks cool. It's like so realistic too, and it's in, but it's in a Minecraft feel way, and it's that's awesome. So and pretty much what this robot can do. Is you can walk, which is already a cool, cool feature, just walking around in it, and it's like, whoa, look at me, bro, and stuff like that. But it actually can do stuff, too. So if you push C, it shoots out a laser beam, which, that is insane. You get an actual laser beam. Like, if we see if we can F5 of this, 
and see if we can get a laser beam coming out. Like, look at that. <laughs> and what this laser beam does, it can smelt blocks. That's why I have that set up over there. And it can um also set stuff on fire. As you can see, the ground is on fire. It can also kill mobs, which that fence is broken, so I'll just have to spawn the mobs. <laughs> but I'll show you right here how it can actually smelt the sand into um what's it called glass that's what it is <laughs> so you can see as you see there's glass on the floor but you don't want to do it too long because it will burn the glass then you can't use it so you just want to make it to where you see it turn glass and then you're good and yeah so it smelts the blocks as they do the same for the ingots or the ores iron ore does the same same for coal it's kind of like a pickaxe also give you the coal and same for diamonds we need to make sure you don't want to burn these though so if you just like hold it there it would like burn as you see there and you don't want to burn that so <clears throat> that's pretty much it I mean for that I mean it smelts ores that's what the laser does it's really really cool it can also kill mobs if I just go over here and place some pigs place some pigs everywhere and I have to go to easy there we go for the zombies so it can hurt hostile mobs and peaceful mobs so if we go like that and we push C as you see it's hurting it so that's awesome and it hurts the pigs too let's see if it hurts this yeah you can even hurt your own suit with it so it's awesome too so it does kill moms so go ahead and go back to peaceful oh there we go so it does kill mobs it's awesome you can just go around like this and just kill everything in sight like everything on fire and die sheep <laughs> so this is actually a really awesome mod if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more um macho cases and stuff of like really cool mods like this so please leave a like comment subscribe and yeah let's just go around demolishing everything just look at this laser wait you can't see the laser when i'm in a five. Oh wow eat the i did not know that you have to be actually like this or facing yourself but this the laser is just so awesome so like i said before if you enjoyed this video just please leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out bye bye Oh yeah, sorry guys, one thing I forgot to mention, and that's why I'm redoing this again. Well, not redoing the whole mod, but you know this right here. When you're in it, let's go ahead and get back in it, and you want to park it, like on a block, just look straight, push B, and it will park the thing, and then you L shift to get out. As you see the little shake, it parked it, so now it's staying still, and it's like all nice and neat, and I guess I got cooked pork chop for burning someone, but... Or well, burning a pig, apparently from the laser, but yeah, you see it parks it, I forgot to mention that, and the prototype armor does the same thing, I forgot to showcase this one, it walks and stuff, and you can shoot the laser, it does the same thing, it just looks different, and once again, you can park it, then I just see a little rumble, so, and it makes it straight, and all nice and purdy, so, I'm powered day. so that's pretty much it for this video, like I said earlier, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out, bye bye, again, I'm through out this time.